Did you know you can actually trim your video after you've uploaded it to YouTube? You can trim the beginning, the end, or even parts in between, and you can do it in YouTube after you've uploaded the video. You don't have to re-render your video using whatever software you have. My name is Zion, and I'm the owner and founder of the Get Known service, where I help and teach clients how to get known in their space and industry by consistently giving value through the means of podcasts, blogs, and YouTube videos. If you'd like to learn more about our services and how we might be able to help you in your content creation, check out our website, getknownstrategy.com, and also subscribe to this YouTube channel. That would mean a lot. All right, let's get into it. So I have a video here, and I'm going to hit play and just show you how the beginning of it, because it was done over like a Zoom app or something, the beginning of it gets cut off quite a bit. So let's check it out. Everybody, Bill Soroka here, Malay Potentialite, serial entrepreneur. Thanks for tuning in. What if I told you that your life was probably filled with a lot? Okay, so right off the bat, there's a lot of grain in this, but the content of this was good. But at the beginning, it looks like the screen just froze up. So we want to cut out that stuff. And then probably at the end, let's check out the end and see how, how it ends, okay? okay? All right, so he was looking for the off button or the stop button after the video. So how do we fix that? Well, you've got to be logged into your YouTube account and you can tell up here if you're logged in. And if you are, you can, when you go to the video, you, there's going to be an edit video button here. If there's not an edit video button, then you're not logged in correctly. So go ahead and click that. And one of the cool things we're going to do here is this is where you can put all your different, your, um, your thumbnail and the, the transcription and any links you want. And you can do all kinds of stuff here, but we're going to go over here to the editor, which is over on the left side. Now my screen is kind of in dark mode. Yours probably looks a little bit differently. It's the same thing though. I'm just viewing it a little bit differently. So we're going to go over to editor and there is a button here called trim. Now there's four different rows here. These are for um, the, the last one here is for end screens. It's putting those little, uh, thumbnails at the very end of the video so that people can see what's going on. You can see that here. Oh, it's not displaying it, but, um, and then the next one is if you wanted to blur out any areas, which is another video I'll talk about. The next one is if you want to change any of the audio and the last one is the video. So we're going to just trim this whole video and there's a button right here. So right off the bat, I can tell if I put my, if I put my cursor down here, you can actually zoom in using this thing here to see a little bit better. And you can tell where he started here, but his screen was totally locked up. So again, let's hit play and he's locked up. Everybody, Bill Soroka here, Malay Potentialite, serial entrepreneur. Thanks for tuning in. What? So we want to trim it right there. It'll, it'll cut out his introduction, but we don't really have a choice on this without him reshooting the video. So we're going to cut it about right there. The first thing you want to do is just hit this trim button. When you hit that trim button, it goes into trim mode. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit again, and that's where my cursor is. So the blue outline that you're seeing around this video is basically showing you this is the video that you will see. So if you move this blue thing, you're going to be cutting out the areas that go dark. So see how it's lighter here, it's darker there. So we're going to go right here and we're going to trim it there. And now we're going to go to the very end of the video. I'm going to scroll over to the very end and I can tell he ends right here because the audio ends. So we can just test that and make sure. All right, guys, thanks for watching all the way through to the end. Now let's go celebrate it. All right. So right there is where we want to cut it off. So I'm going to grab the end of it and pull it back and to about right there. Now notice the end cards shift back as well because they're based on the very end of the video. All right, so now to save this, this is not intuitive, by the way, you have to hit preview down here. Once you hit preview, then you can hit play at the, be at the beginning. Uh, you can scroll back to the beginning and, and just hit play. And what if I told you that your life is probably... And then you click save and it'll say, hey, it's going to take a few hours for you to change this during that time. So that is how you do it. And you hit save and it'll lock this up. I won't be able to do anything. But what if there's a part of the video that you wanted to take out? Not just the end or the beginning. What if there's another part? Well, if you click edit trim, you can see this is the big blue area. We're going to find an area over here and we're going to click split down here. And when you click split, now it's actually breaking this blue area into two areas like this. And now what we could do is if I hit preview, it's going to 
go from here, the playhead will go from here and jump to there. Watch. We're keeping up with the Joneses or some future happening. A new direction for us. Of course, that didn't make sense in reference to the video. I just guessed a spot, but it just jumps the playhead and it's going to show you this is what we're going to do here. And then you'd have to hit save. Now you can edit again and again. So I could click edit trim again and hit split again. You could split this video up into a bunch of pieces. So if you were just kind of roughing in a video and you weren't really sure exactly where you wanted to cut and stuff, you could do this all afterwards and not have to make multiple videos and try to seam them together. Okay. So this is a really nice little thing. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those because I didn't want to do that. I just wanted the end and the beginning and I'm going to hit preview and I'm going to hit save again. The thing about that that's not intuitive is you have to hit preview before it will allow you to hit save. So that is how you trim a video. This is one of the most important skills to learn when, cr when creating videos and uploading them into YouTube. And a lot of people don't know how to do that. So I hope that helped you guys.